So welcome to Technodad Life and on today's episode we're going to be using Handbrake to automatically convert movies. And as always if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and here we go now. To start out with we're going to install transmission so we're going to type in J Lessage click on handbrake click start and once that's done click close and so now we're going to click on that we're going to click info and so these are the container variables that we need to care about and so if we look at the quick start there's just a few things that we need to configure uh, so we need to have a config folder a storage folder watch and outputs so let's go do that now so let's click run image and so we're going to call this handbrake and restart policy always we're going to leave it in bridged mode we're going to have port 5800 open that is the uh, web ui and here we don't have to do anything some things that you might want to change are display width and height uh, it will show uh, change how the web UI is displayed on your display. Uh, so if you have bigger than a 780p monitor, then you'd want to change these. I'm just going to leave those the same for right now. So next, if we go down to container paths, we need a config, an output, a storage, and a watch. So let's make those now. And so first we're going to go into our app data folder. First we're going to make a config folder and we're going to call that handbrake. Next we're going to make the storage folder. And then we're going to make a watch folder and we're going to put that in our media. And then the last one, our conversion folder, we're just going to use our movies folder. So let's add the config folder. So we're going to go down to shared folders, app data, handbrake. Okay. Click plus. Next is storage. Uh, next is output. And we're going to output our, so we're going to go to shared folders and to media. And we're going to download the output directly to our movies folder and then finally a watch folder and so we're going to go to media click on watch and we're going to add that you can add actually add a second watch folder uh, just call it watch 2 and what you can do is say you go to your shared folders and downloads and completed and basically it will anything that goes into the completed folder it will convert and then stick in the output folder which is our movie folder so you can do that if you want and after we've done all that we just have to click save okay so now it's up and running so we just need to copy our IP address paste that in here and actually put in the colon 5800 hit enter and now we have the web UI and so the web UI you only need if you want to uh, pick out any particular folder but I would actually just use the uh, watched folder to convert things automatically if you do use the watch folder, whatever is being converted does not actually show up in the web UI. Let's put a folder in the watch folder and let's see what happens. So we go back to our open media vault and we look in our media folder and we're going to go to movies. And so no, there is no movie here right now. So what we're going to do is go back up to our watch folder. And we're going to simply drag a file from our desktop into there. Okay, so once that's done, we'll click up and then we'll go over to our movies folder. 
and you can see it has started converting it and we'll give it a few minutes and what we'll see is this number will gradually change it will do that so let's go back to our web UI and you can see here go to show queue nothing shows up and now when we go back to our file you can see right there that it is starting to convert it it'll just take a few hours to do that okay that's it for today and if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time have a great day bye bye